Now your Super Doppler 10 forecast with meteorologist Jeremy Wheeler. Just track tropical depression number 14, and now we want to focus on Jose. Uh, so, uh, you know, there might be another tropical storm out there, but tropical storm Jose is the one that's definitely going to get closer to uh, the United States. So right now it is uh, maybe showing some signs of re-strengthening. You see a kind of a blow up here of thunderstorms around the center there and just in the last couple frames. So maybe reorganizing a little bit and it is forecast to become a hurricane in the short term. Right now it is a tropical storm winds of 70 miles an hour, but it's pretty close to becoming a hurricane moving west northwest at eight miles an hour. It's doing that loop. There it is. It's finishing the loop now moving off to the northwest to become a hurricane by uh, later today in through tomorrow morning. Now it is forecast to move to the north then after that point Sunday into Monday. Now here's Tuesday and it looks like it is going to be out to sea. The most likely path takes it out to sea, but the possible path, the cone of uncertainty does stretch pretty far west and east of there and Hatteras is kind of on the edge of the possible path. So let's keep that in mind. That's up through Tuesday morning. Now it is forecast to then move northeast, but some models have it aiming straight for Boston. And here are those computer models, the latest that we have. There's a good consensus in here that it's going to be offshore. I mean, there's still some models which take it a little closer, but most of the models keep it out here, which is good for us. We wouldn't see any direct impacts from the hurricane uh, if it were to become one and, and follow this path. But again, it may head up and uh, aim right for Massachusetts. Now, here's two models, and it shows you kind of the winds as well. The uh, more tightly packed these lines are, the isobars, the stronger the winds. So here it is as we go from Saturday into uh, Tuesday morning. Well, they are offshore, yes, but you can tell here we'd still see some coastal winds even if it were to go offshore. And so we could see gusts, again, early estimate, maybe up to 50 miles an hour. We'll see. And uh, well, then they would move off to the north and a little bit northeast. The European might hang back and sit here for a couple of days offshore. This is Thursday, so uh, definitely some impacts on our weather. We're going to have a high threat for rip currents through the entire time, high waves too. Jose should be offshore Monday through Tuesday. That's the most likely scenario, but it could be somewhat close, maybe within one to 200 miles of our region. So some coastal winds and some tidal flooding early next week, Monday into Tuesday. I think we could at least see some minor tidal flooding, maybe more. We'll see. Depends on that track. And so stay tuned for updates this weekend. We'll, have, we'll get more specific and we'll, we'll fine tune that forecast as we go through the weekend. Meantime, closer to home, high pressure is building back in. Low pressure is moving away, but we still have some humid conditions, and so we might see some isolated showers. Most of the showers now are offshore, and that's good. We're not going to see any more rain this morning for the morning commute. But as we go into the afternoon, isolated showers popping up. I believe our model is a little high on the coverage, but I do agree that some isolated showers will be out there. Chance of rain about 25%. Overnight, quiet weather, a little bit of clouds. And then tomorrow, partly cloudy skies. Again, maybe some isolated showers, a little less of a chance of rain there, maybe 10 to 20% for Saturday. So right now we do have fog outside here in Portsmouth, in parts of Suffolk, Chesapeake, and uh, up towards Hampton. And the temperatures are in the upper 60s. They've fallen. Today, high temperatures will rise up in the low 80s. We'll have a few mid-80s inland, and the winds out of the northeast 5 to 10. Partly cloudy skies, isolated showers are possible. At the air show today and tomorrow, partly cloudy, isolated showers, highs in the 80s, upper 70s on Sunday, more clouds and some scattered showers. And uh, so for the weekend, that's how it follows. Isolated on Saturday, 30% chance of rain Sunday. Some scattered showers Monday and Tuesday, but I do think the breeze will be up. We'll have some coastal winds possibly, uh, maybe some minor tidal flooding, and it depends on the track of Jose, which will follow along over the weekend.